What discussions is the Minister having with the leader of Denbighshire County Council following his warning that the Council is facing bankruptcy unless services and jobs are cut? I work closely with local authorities to understand the pressures they face. I meet regularly with leaders individually and through relevant groups such as the Partnership Council and the Finance Subgroup. I'm meeting the leader of Denbyshire Council tomorrow and the Finance Subgroup on the 25th of October. Well, thank you for your uh, initial response, uh, Minister. And, and you'll know, Minister, that councils and the services they provide are some of the most important in our communities, from schools and social care right through to emptying bins and filling um, potholes. So clearly it's very worrying for residents, uh, staff and locally elected councillors when their council leader says, and I quote, the main priority of the Cabinet at this point is to stop the council from going bankrupt, because of course it's trying to fill a £26 million shortfall. So there are a number of questions I'd, I'd like you to be able to answer this afternoon, please, Minister. And the first, first one is, is this statement a surprise to you? And if not, what have you been doing to ensure the council is properly supported? And if it is a surprise, are you confident that you have the right reporting systems in place to, to detect these concerns? The second question is, this position of potential bankruptcy has been revealed through a private letter which has found itself into the press. Now, opposition members have raised concerns that there's a lack of transparency and openness with Denbyshire's budget. Do you share these same concerns? And a final question, Minister, is that I've raised in this chamber a number of times the need for an independent review of the funding formula, because whilst we have Denbyshire County Council on the edge of bankruptcy, you know places like Rondacun and Taff, Cardiff and Carmarthenshire have hundreds of millions of pounds swirled away in reserve. So will you accept today, as a result of a, a Labour leader of a council in North Wales, that this funding formula needs to be independently reviewed yeah. to ensure councils are not in this position in the future? Yeah. Um, well, just to reassure the member and people living in Denbyshire and uh, all colleagues in the chamber, I have been assured by the leader of the council today that Denbyshire will present a balanced budget. What the communication referred to does is essentially highlight the severe pressure that local government is under and the difficult decisions that they are going to have to take in order to balance the budget. That's not different in Denbyshire. That's the same pressure which is being experienced across local government.